بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي So today we are starting a new journey, a new topic. Uh, we have finished the world of sarf. So we have entered the world of advanced nahu today. Inshallah. And we are starting with a very easy topic. Uh, it's called the compound ism. So uh, give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so we're going to start a new topic. It's called the compound ism. Uh, it, in Arabic, it's called Master Mu'awwal. So we have come across this topic in, in Bayina. We talked about compound ism, where we have a harf coming with either the past tense or the present tense. And they together, they form what we call a compound ism. So they, they, they become like a compound ism together. So that's what we're going to look at. Now, uh, just a few things, a few pointers. In Bayina, we learned about an as a harf, light harf, an len nikay idan hata, you remember? So it's a light harf, which makes the mudara mansub. But it can also come with madi. It won't have any effect on the madi, but it will have an effect on the mudara. So we know about an, that an, an len nikay idan hata, an, light harf. Then we also have anna, we talked about anna as well. Yeah, uh, anna, anna is harf of nasab. We talked about this when it, when we were doing uh, uh, nahu, basic nahu, and we said, you know, you have so many different kinds of uh, harf of nasib, inna, anna, ka anna, bi anna, all those. So we have anna. So the number one we have here is an harf of uh, yani ha light harf, then anna, which is from the inna family. So this is harf of nasib. Okay. Then we also talked about ma when we were discussing the different kinds of ma. I think this came later in advanced structure, structures where we looked at different kinds of ma. And we said one of the kinds of ma is a ma called ma mastariya. You remember that ma? Ma mastariya. This is what we're, we're talking about here. The ma that forms a master. Same thing as an. An mastariya, ma mastariya. Okay. So this, we covered this three so far. Now, I want to just bring to your attention, we didn't learn this three, the, the next three in Bayina program, but I want to bring it to your attention. It's not really, it's not a, a deep study as such, but it's good to be aware about this other three. So we also talked about anlandli k. So this k is the one we are talking about today. It's also half of light, light half. But and it also makes master just the way the an behaves is the same way k behaves. So we'll talk about that and discuss how that happens. And then we also have low. I know we we discussed low when we were talking about uh shart jumla shartia. Low comes there, but sometimes low can also be used as to make a master. So in this case, to make an, uh, a compound ism. And then lastly, we have something called Hamza at taswiya Hamza at taswiya is the kind of Hamza, <coughs> is the kind of ham Hamza that mostly compares two things. You're mostly comparing to two things. And we'll look at that when we look at that. So here it's important to note that an, ma, and law, they can come with both madhi and mudara. If they come with the madhi, they won't have any effect. That is, an won't have any effect. Of course, ma normally doesn't have an effect. Ma mastariya doesn't have an effect. Law doesn't have an effect. So an, when it comes with the madi, it won't have an effect. Only when it comes with the mudara, it will have an effect. Okay, so far so good. I hope this, we are, we are good. All right. Now, let's look at an. We're going to go through this briefly and then do some exercises. And that way, I think uh, the concept will become more clear. So what the purpose of this, the, the reason why they're called huruf mastariya is because they transform whatever it is, it could be a fragment or a sentence, into a masdar. And a masdar is a noun. That is, it's an ism. That's why it's called compound ism. Because it takes an entire sentence and just forms it into one ism. It look, it, it's looked at as an ism. And we'll see how. 
So we have an. Remember, an is a light harf, and therefore, of course, when it comes to the mudara, it will make it light. We've already talked about that. Let's look at an example here. So you're given a sentence: Yadhabu Ahmed ila al madrasati. Yadhabu Ahmed ila al madrasati. That's the sentence. So the habu, or if you look at another sentence here, for example, the habu Ahmedi got the going of Ahmed ila al madrasati afdal. So the going of Ahmed ila al madrasati. If you were to uh, to analyze this sentence, you would say the habu Ahmed. Is the Mubtada. You probably say something like that. Let's try and color code this. Ila al madrasati would be your muta'alliq bil khabar. Okay. Ooh, that's too bad. It has to be green. Okay. It wants to. So ila al madrasati would be your muta'alliq bil khabar. And of course, afdal would be your khabar, mu'akhar. Oh, let's do a lighter color. Not too much. So maybe. Anyway, yeah. So you have something like that. Mubtada, muta'ali bil khabar, khabar. Now, if I bring in an, and I change the mubtada into a fi'l, because an comes with a fi'l, an does not come with an ism. Yeah, um, an comes with a fi'l. So an yadhaba, Ahmed, this this whole thing made it to be read. An an yadhab Ahmedu, sorry, an yadhab Ahmedu ila al madrasati afdal. So you can see that this mudaf here, idafa structure, was replaced with an yadhab Ahmed, the habu Ahmed. So the habu is a master, isn't it? The habu is a master. It is replaced by an yadhaba. So if you can replace uh, the harf master with with whatever comes with it, you can replace it with a master, then that is uh, a compound isim or what we call master mu'awwal. It's important to know these words and I'll tell you why. Uh, or actually, I will show you why it's important to 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 know these terms in, in a bit. Let's uh, look at, at this stuff first. So an yadhaba Ahmed ila al madrasati afdal. They both mean the same thing. It's just that you replaced a master with an yadhaba. I hope you can see that. Or for example, yuridu Ahmed al dhahaba ila al madras ila al madrasa. Ahmed wants to go to madrasa. Yuridu Ahmed ماذا? He wants to go to the madrasa. Uh, this is maf'ul bihi, and it's a master. So if you can replace this master with an plus a fi'al mudara, then that becomes a master mu'awwal. Yuridu Ahmed an yadhaba ila al-madrasa. Kana alayhi dhahabu. So dhahabu here would be the outside, the ism of kana. So kana alayhi dhahabu ila al-madrasa. Kana alayhi an yadhaba. So you can see how we are replacing the master with this compound structure that we have formed of an plus a fi'al mudhara, yeah? And it's replacing a masdar. So this becomes masdar mu'awwal. It's not a masdar, it's masdar mu'awwal, okay? That's the difference. Now, um, what happens if now you have this structure? How do you do the i'rab? You do the i'rab the same way you would do this i'rab, except here you would say that al-dhahabu is the ism of kana marfu'ah. But here, you won't say marfu'ah, you would say fi mahalli rafa'ah. That's the only difference. Fi mahalli rafa'ah, uh, fa'il, of, uh, isim of kana, sorry. Isim of kana, that's what you would say. So that's the only difference. I hope that's clear. With uh, and This is basically revision, so we're not, I don't want us to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, please translate last one, okay. كان عليه أن يذهب إلى المدرسة. Uh, it was uh, he, he was supposed to I don't know I don't know how to translate this but something like it كان عليه when I, when you have that structure كان عليه it's like supposed to or he must or he should that kind of meaning so he should 
he, it was upon him to go to the madrasa. He was supposed to go to the ma madrasa. He should go to the ma madrasa. He must go to the madrasa. Like, yeah, any one of those meanings could 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 apply depending on what I'm trying to say. Am am I trying to say that it it should have been a must for him? He should have gone to the madrasa. Depending on the tone, basically. Kana alayhi an yadhaba ilal madrasa. He was supposed to go to the madrasa. He was supposed to go to the madrasa. Or he should have gone to the madrasa. That would be the meaning there. Okay. Then we come to anna. So we've said anna is a harf of nasab. And therefore it makes an ism. Uh, no problem, Sayma. So therefore it makes an ism mansub. Because it's like inna anna ka anna bi anna. So this one comes with an ism. An comes with a fi'al. Anna comes with an ism. That's something important to remember. So for example, you have the same uh, sentence. Dhahabu ahmadi ila madrasati afdal. We've already looked at this sentence. Ahmad's going to the madrasa is better. Okay. Now I want to say that, you know, I want to use anna basically. So I would have anna that... But Anna comes with an ism, so the ism of Kana will be Ahmed. Anna Ahmed adhahibun ila madrasati afdal. That Ahmed should, is going uh, to the, uh, or Ahmed's going to the madrasa is better. It's a weird kind of sentence, but just for demonstration purposes so that you can understand how that happens. So you see this whole structure, this whole first part, this, this whole part, is our master mu'awwal. Why? Because this whole part, well, of course, uh, ilan madrasati could be muta'allik bil khabar, you could say. And then, dhahibun ilan madrasati, uh, anna ahmada dhahibun, this part will be a mubtada. So you have a mubtada here, this is going to be fi mahalli rafa' mubtada. This whole thing is going to be fi mahalli rafa' mubtada. Just like dhahabu uh, ahmad. Just like the Habu Ahmed would also be fi mahali rafa' mubtada. So it is replacing basically this master. Let's look at another example. Huwa ma'lumun annahu ghani. Yes, Saima. So anna along with, uh, with its ism, it, it forms the mubtada. So anna ahmada will be mubtada. How come zahibun is also coming under mubtada? Zahibun, why zahibun be khabar? So the whole thing, the whole sentence that comes uh, under Anna oh, okay. will be your master Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, okay. The whole Anna thing is yes. a matter for the rest of the sentence. Yes. Okay. Just a yeah. And you would actually see in Tafsir that they would say Anna and whatever comes with it. The, or something like that. They would say Anna and whatever comes with it because Anna is normally a mubtada, right? And a mubtada mm -hmm. carries with it a khabar, a mutaalliq. It could carry so many things with it. So they'll say, mm -hmm. Anna and whatever comes with it is going to play as an ism, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you go inside, you have different things like that. Basically, the complete bucket of Anna will be yes. the Yes, perfect. That's, that's the way to look at it. The complete bucket of Anna or Inna or one of these isms, the complete bucket would be your master mu'awwad. And it would be active acting as an ism yeah so same thing like here huwa ma'lumun annahu ghaniyun it is known it is well known or well established that he is rich so you have annahu anna plus its ism and it's it's a mubtada and ghaniyun is a khabar so this whole thing would be a masdar mu'awwal the whole thing and of course we have to ask ourselves okay so what what role is it playing in this other sentence Huwa is a mubtada, ma'lumun is a khabar. Uh, and so it answers the question. Uh, so this ma'lum is an ism fa'il, a uh, ism maf'ul that is acting as a fa'il. Remember that? We talked about that. Uh, ism fa'il, ism maf'ul can act as a fa'il. So here it is acting as a fa'il. And that's why this would be our maf'ul bihi fi mahalli nasab. That's how you look at it. So this is going to be fi mahalli nasab. Then you have ma, same thing, same concept basically. So ma masdariya doesn't have any effect on the fi'il, uh, but it comes with the fi'il. So if I say, for example, a'ajabani sunuk. Sunuk 
sana'a to make something, to manufacture something. So sunna is the master. Or it, you could actually say sana, there's sana'a, there's sunna, there's different kinds of uh, masters. So ajabani sunuk, sunuk, your creation, your design, your whatever you made uh, impressed me, or I like what you made. That's another way of translating that. So I could say that ajabani sunuk, whatever you made uh, impressed me, or I liked what you made. But if I want to use ma, for example, I could say ajabani. ما صنعت. So you see, ما whatever صنعت, you made. So what whatever you made becomes the master muawwal في محل رفع uh, فاعل the outside dua of عجبة. So this would be في محل رفع فاعل because this kind of uh, فاعل it's a weird one. So the the فاعل is normally outside dua and then the مفعول به is أنا. Like that. You impressed me. Something like that. Or another example. For example here. فِعْلُكَ أَعِدٌ إِلَيْكَ حَتْمًا فِعْلُكَ Your action. So فِعْلُكَ Your action. عَائِدٌ We've come across this term. عَائِد To return. So عَادَ يَعُودُ عَوْدَةً فَهُوَ عَائِدٌ He returns. So the thing that returns. So فِعْلُكَ عَائِدٌ إِلَيْكَ حَتْمًا حَتْمًا means eventually. So your actions will return to you eventually. It's kind of like saying what goes around comes around uh, type of thing, like karma stuff, basically. Not, not, not really karma, but you, you understand what I'm saying. Like your actions will come back to bite you eventually. That's what they're saying. I could replace this mustar with ma and a verb. Ma tafalu, what you do, instead of saying your doings, or your action, I could say what you do uh, comes back to you eventually. Okay. And then you have another kind of, if I say, مُدَّةَ حَيَاتِي مُدَّةَ is as long a uh, lifetime, basically. Uh, the time of my life. مُدَّةَ حَيَاتِي All my life. So I will honor you all my life. مُدَّةَ حَيَاتِي I will honor you all my life. Or I could say, سَأُكْرِمُكَ مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّةً As long as I live. We've come across this madama. Madama, when we're talking about Kana and, and, and her sisters, madama is one of those um, sisters. These are two words, ma and dama. The ma in madama is ma mastariya. Not to be confused with ma zala. Ma zala, the ma in ma zala is ma nafia. I'm just putting this out there so that you don't assume, oh, madama, Mazala, you know, ma anfaka, ma bariha, all the same maz. No. Ma dama, ma mastariya. Ma zala, ma nafia. And I think when we come to ma, uh, the different kinds of ma, we'll talk more about that. Uh, any questions so far up to there? Oops. Okay. So now I'm going to introduce. So I'm going to introduce new things that we didn't learn. Not really new. It's just that we didn't know them in this manner. Okay? So it's not new. We know kai. We know what kai does. And len li kai idhan hatta. It makes mudara mansub. So for example, if I say, Darrasa kathiran li fawzatihi. He studied so hard for the purpose or for the intention or so that. Normally we translate kai as so that. So that. He could win, or so that he could fouls, so that he could be, be victorious or be successful, or yeah, any one of those. So that would be fouls. Fouls is a master, but I want to replace this with k. So I can say actually, درسَ كثيراً لكي يفوز, لكي يفوز, so that he may win, or so that he may pass, so that he may excel, so that he may, um, you know, uh be successful in his exams so that, yeah so i hope that's clear so any any time you can be able to if you're looking at a uh, uh, harf masdariya plus whatever it's coming with and you can replace that with a masdar then that is your masdar muawwal this is your compound uh isim if you will so of course here uh it's coming with li so this is going to be majroor Basically, it's going to be fi mahalli jar. 
يا مصدر مؤول في محل جر that's how it's gonna be of course متعلق بالفعل in this case okay yeah so let's look at the first example first let's look at the the إعراب of the first example we have درس is a فعل okay so we know is a جملة فعلية and then كثيرا we talked about كثيرا yeah I'm coming there we talked about كثيرا last time when we talk about نائب مفعول مطلق so we know this is a نائب مفعول مطلق لي فوزته لي is حرف جار okay لي is حرف جار so this is حرف جار and مجرور and of course this is going to be one bucket that means this is going to be your متعلق بالفعل so same thing if this is the إعراب here same إعراب is going to happen here the only difference is here we're going to say مجرور here we're going to say في محل جار okay so yeah, I know, I know we were taught anlan likai idan hatta. We were taught likai. But remember, Ustad also said it could be li, it could be kai, it could be likai. Yeah? So it, it comes like that. But grammatically, there are actually two words. It's li and kai. So either it can come as kai alone, or it can come as just li, or it can come as likai. And they all mean the same thing. Basically, and that's why I think we start just put it together because it means the same thing. When you say li kai, when you say kai, when you just say li, it's the same thing. I hope that was clear. Okay, so that's kai or li kai. Then you have lau. Now this is a bit strange because we don't know lau like this. We know lau is shart, uh, adatu shart, yeah, but. Lau, this lau does not come, you won't see a shart in this lau. So immediately if you don't see any, you know when you have jumla shartia, you have the condition part, which is the shart, the fa'al shart, and then you have the jawab of shart. You have, you know, structures like that. And we will talk about that when we come to jumla shartia. But in this kind of lau structure, there is no condition. Okay, so when you see something like that, and most of the time, it comes with the verb wadda. Wadda yawaddu. If you see this verb wadda yawaddu, which means to want, to wish, to desire, to like. Mawadda uh, uh, comes from the same, uh, you know, uh, root letters. Al-wadud, uh, widad. All this have to do with love, liking, uh, such kind of emotion, uh, desiring. So wadda, let's look at an example here. Wadda ikmalak al ta'am. He, he he desired or he wanted, he liked, he he would have loved that you finished the food. What did he what did he want? What did he love? What did he wish for? That you finish the food. That was his want. That was his basically he would have loved that you finished the food. That would that is the best I think translation for that. He would have loved that you finished the food. And I know I'm putting there that. Even though that is not there in Arabic, you can see and there, but I'm just making it easy to understand in English. What the ikmalak ta'am? He loved that you finished the food. That would be the literal translation, but it doesn't make much sense. But if I say what the law akmalt ta'am, he would have loved that you finished the food. Now you see when I put law, it actually it, it, it makes more sense in your head. What the law? He wished had you finished the food. Like he, he he wished had you finished the food, something like that. But of course it means the same thing. So Lau Akmalta Lau Akmalta is replacing a master here, Ikmalak. Ikmalak. So you can see that it's uh, Lau plus whatever it comes with is our master muawwal. Another example here, Yawadul Bakaa Hayyan. He wishes or he would he would like to remain alive. He would love to remain alive. Yawaddu law yabqa hayyan. He would love that he remains alive. The same thing. It's just that we are taking a master here and we are replacing it with a master mu'awwal. Law yabqa. So you can see there's no condition. There's no jawabu shart. There's no, no, it's not a conditional sentence. Most of the time it will come in this verb. Even in the Quran, it comes with what day yawaddu. And we look, we'll see also some exercises from the Quran shortly. 
Then we have Hamdatul Taswiya. This is the last category of, you know, this kinds of uh, harf that make a master. So this one, it comes with sawa, sawa'un or la ubali. If you see sawa'un, uh, 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 well, let's look at the, the example, for example. Sawa'un alayka dirasatuk am lam tadrus. This would have been the way to say it. Sawa'un alayka dirasatuk. It's the same for you or upon you. You're studying or you're not studying. It's the same if I say something like that. But if I want to introduce this hamza, so I say sawa'un alayka adarasta am lam tadrus. It's the same. Whether you study or you don't study, it's it's upon you basically. It's your own problem. It's your own issue. Yeah, it's the same. Or if I say la ubali, la ubali basically means I don't mind, I don't care. So la ubali adhabta am lam tadhab. I don't care if you go, you don't go. I don't, I don't care. I don't mind. So that it normally comes with that. So you can see how that makes sense. So this a is always followed by am. You cannot have just sawa'un alayka adarasta. You have to give an option. Adarasta, whether you study, am lam tadrus, or you don't study. Whether you go, adahabta, am lam tadhab, or you don't go. So it always comes with am. That's how you know. So this part, adarasta, you can clearly see that it is replacing dirasatuk. Yeah? It is replacing this master over here and that becomes our master our in that case i hope that's clear any questions so far so that's basically master mu'awwad guys three you already know and anna and ma three i just introduced to you today uh law hamza to taswiya and kai yes saima mm -hmm. Um, uh, like, uh, uh, if we have not known this, like Savauna, like Adarasta, Amlam, Tadrusu, so I would have said that this is normal A and M structure. A and M, they come together like either or or. Yes. So, but now I know that it is Mazdar Muabbal. Exactly. So, ki, what difference does it make? Ki, now I know it's Mazdar Muabbal. So, anything in the meaning in the Quran, does it change? Not really. The, the reason why I'm actually introducing this stuff, I'm going to show you right now, is because, say you want to read a tafsir book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, mean, I used to, every time I used to get with this Mazda Mu'awal, it is so common in the Arab books. And I was yeah. asking the questions in the group. What is it? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. This so the only reason, yeah, the only reason I'm introducing it to you so that you can find ease when you're reading tafsir books you you actually understand you don't like you don't go to other tools and type in what is master mu'awwal and it gives you a funny yeah, meaning and you're like what <laughs> it doesn't make sense yeah so now when you when you know this terminology you can actually understand tafsir books so that's why I'm... actually introducing this sorry okay. sorry sorry no, it's okay go on okay. so yeah but my question remains the same like what's the difference if because when i'm translating so I'm translating mm. it either or or. Whether you study or you not study, it's upon you. Mm. And uh, even if I don't know that it's must have moved, well, the, I'm translating it in the same van manner. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I think Ustad didn't really bother in explaining these things to, so much because it doesn't make a difference. Whether you know it's must have moved, well, or you don't know, the meaning doesn't change. The Arab changes a little bit. Like I mentioned, mm. instead of marfu' it's going to be fi mahalli rafa, which is not really a big deal. I mean, mm -hmm. but other, oh, other than that, it's like high school and graduation. Yeah. yeah. Things okay. yeah. You advance. Okay. Yeah. The term. Okay. okay. Uh, advance mm -hmm. the terminology so that you can actually read advanced books. And also because this is how they teach Arabic grammar. Of course, Ustad's mm -hmm. method is much, much easier. May Allah bless him for that. But mm -hmm. we, we have to keep on advancing. We can't just, okay, be satisfied with uh, Ustad's level and say, okay, I know Arabic. We have to keep mm -hmm. on, you know, advancing. So I'm going to show you actually what I'm talking about here. Okay, so uh, let's pick an example. Uh, uh, what is it going to give me? Let me see if it gives me. Let's pick this one and see. See if it, it... so you, you come to, of course, Ulum. 
I hope you can see my screen. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Ah, uh, this one doesn't. Let me look for something better. Mm. So let's let's pick this example. Okay. So master muawal. Master muawal. We know master is an ism, right? When we were looking at the different kinds of words, we said master. You know, when we were defining ism fa'il harf, we said ism is so many many things, and we defined it. We we also said master is one of the things. So master is an ism. Master mu'awwal is when you have a harf together with something else and all these things together, they act like an ism. They do, they have the role of an ism. So that's basically the concept of master mu'awwal. Uh, and when you're doing the i'rab, you would either say that this uh, ism, this master mu'awwal is either the outside dua, it could be the maf'ul bihi, it could be whatever it could be, basically. It could be anything. Uh, so it's acting like a single essence. It's either acting like a fa'il, it's either acting like a fa'il, uh, no, sorry, like not, not like a fa'il, but like a fa'il or maf'ul um, bihi or any kind of essence, basically. So that's master mu'awwal. That's the whole concept of master mu'awwal. I wanted to show you. Okay, so we are here. I hope that's clear. Okay, wa iyak. Jazakillahu khairan. So. Let's look at the i'rab of this. So you click the al-i'rab al-muyassar, the easy i'rab, because that's our level right now. And you, I'm going to skip the fast part. So I'm going to come to in annahu. So we have anna here. So we know anna plus its ism. So they're saying an wa ma fi hayyiziha. And you read that and you're like, what is going on? What is this stuff? What are they saying? I know an. I know anna. I know it's victim, but what is this fi hayyiziha? What am I supposed to do with that? This is basically what I was telling you. Ma fi hayyiziha, and whatever it comes with. Anna, and whatever it comes with. Fi mahalli raf, so you can see, fi mahalli rafa. What role is it playing? Naibul fa'il. So, an, and whatever it comes with, it's acting as a naibul fa'il. The out, the, the naibul fa'il of uhiya. So you see, uhiya is fa'il majzum, madi majzum, and this whole thing is our naibul fa'il. It's acting like one ism when it's a whole thing. So they would say, ma fi hayyiziha. So if you go to other tools and you type hayyiziha, it will give you some funny uh, translation and you'll ask yourself, what does this mean? Basically, it me just means whatever comes after it. An and whatever comes after it is acting like an ism. Yeah. So you would see something like that. So that's basically what what's it, what it's telling you is that an is master mu'awwal. I want to pick another example of where it actually says master mu'awwal so that you actually see how it improves your understanding of um, tafsir books. Okay, we can, we can try this one. Okay, you know, oh, this is shorter and nicer. Let's see. Arab muyassar. Kay harf masdari. See, it even tells you, okay, is half masdari. That means it's going to make masdar. Wa nasb is going to make it mansub. Wa istiqbal, basically when you say istiqbal, it just means it's a future. Like idha, we say lil mustaqbal. When you, when you have a, a sentence with idha, idha pushes the meaning to the future. That's the, that's the, our terminology. Same thing, kay, here they're saying in this, in this particular ayah, it's pushing the meaning to the future as well. So, وَنُسَبِّحُكَ فَعِلْ مُضَارِعْ مَنْسُوبْ بِكَيْ And نُسَبِّحُكَ here has been made light by كَيْ وَفَعِلْ نُسَبِّحُكَ ضَمِيرْ مُسْتَتِدْ تَقْدِرُهُ نَحْنُ Okay, so it's just continuing like that. So, but here you can actually say, it, you see it's telling you مصدري. It's a harf مصدري. Now you know that. Otherwise, you'd be like, what do they mean by that? So, let's look at يَوَدُّ لَوْ Um... If I type, yeah, what do low? Hmm. Nothing like that. Uh, okay, maybe just let's type low. Let's see. 
It was there on the back one. It the was previous there? Previous one. Yeah, Vaddu and Love was there. I missed it. A little down, little down. Ah, this one, fourth one. This one. You might think you want to do Oh, yeah. Love. To Savwa. Okay. Let's see. So you go to Ulum. Go to Arab. Uh, it's a little bit long. So we want to go to Law here. Well, Law, Mastaria. You can see Law, Mastaria. It's not telling you it's Shartia. It's Mastaria. Uh, no problem, Ariane. And then Mu'awwala. So you see, it's telling you it's Mastaria and it's also Mu'awwala. What that means basically is that Law is half of Mastar. It's going to make Mastar Mu'awwal. Same thing, Mu'awwala. It's making the whatever the fail that comes after it, mu'awwala. Ma'a ma ba'daha. With whatever comes after it, it's going to be mu'awwala. Master mu'awwal. Be master. Basically the same thing. So, so now you don't have to put every single one of these words in error tools. And you're like, what is going on? I don't understand. All this stuff is just telling you that law and whatever comes after it is going to be a master mu'awwal. It's going to be one compound SM. Two the fact that Yawaddu is mentioned. And it also gives you the meaning. So I meaning, this is the meaning that is intended by saying that. So I just wanted to show you how, why this is important and why I felt the need to share this stuff so that you can actually understand um, that. So now let's take maybe the next uh, 20 minutes to look at some examples. Yes, Saima. I think I got my answer. Okay. So I did, when I saw this thing that it's written Mazdar Mu'awwal or Mazdariya, Law Mazdariya. So thanks to our assignment of the Abirul Quran, we know that there is different, uh, when the ism is used, there is there are different inner deep meanings. And when there is a fail used, there is a different, even though we are translating it the same, but we are using an ism in one place and we are using a verb at one place. So maybe the deeper meaning of the ayah will be different. Absolutely. Yes, stunning. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, because we know every word in the Quran is perfectly chosen and situated. Allah chose this and he didn't choose this. So that mm -hmm. tells you that, you know, uh, there's a reason why Allah chose to say it like this and not like that. When he could have just said it like that. But of course, in normal uh, speech these days, people don't really make that distinction. But in the Quran, of course, it makes a big difference. Thank you for pointing that out. Allah, that's amazing. All right, let's look at the first example. وَأَن تَسُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Ramadan is coming up. So, وَأَن تَسُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ So you can actually see وَأَن أَن Here it's coming with uh, a fa'al and of course it's light because أَن is half of light and so it makes this the master مؤول I'm going to do the first one and then the rest you guys can help me out. So this is our master mu'awwal. And of course, because it's at the beginning of the sentence, we're going to say, it's the mubtada. And khayrun would be the khabar. Lakum would be the muta'allik bil khabar in this case. Uh, in kuntum ta'alamun, of course, that one comes. Uh, um, uh, in, of course, is, I think, yeah, I don't know. I think it's shartiya here. I don't want to get into much details with this one because in again, there's quite a bit, there's several ins, I think, maybe two or three. I'm not so sure. Yeah. But I think that's clear. You see how this, this part. So if you open the tafsir of this ayah, it will tell you that وَأَن وَمَا فِي حَيِّزِهَا or وَمَا, وَمَا بَعْدَهَا or it will tell you an and whatever comes with it. It's going to be Master Mu'awwal. Fi mahalli rafa mubtada. Something like that. So the, basically they're saying this whole thing is our mubtada. Right? Who wants to do number two? Who wants to figure out where is the Master Mu'awwal in this sentence? And what role is it playing? Is it a fa'il? Is it a mas'ul bihi? Is it a mubtada? Is it a khabar? What, what is it doing? Saima, you want to try? Yes, inshallah. I'm stuck in the first word itself. 
الاحمال واولات الاحمال possessor of something of ahmal mals so this is talking about women who are pregnant pregnant women oh ahmali the possessor of the hamal carrying the carrier the so this will be our paula to it will be it's it's an ism right ula to yes okay so mudaf and mudafili and muqtada uh-huh then ajalukna that is again mudaf mudafili uh-huh ajalu plus their term then okay so first will be muqtada then this will be the khabar the second rafa and okay now muqtada and khabar are over so now what can be the an near the ana because we have just learned that an plus mudare it's a masdar again uh-huh okay so now it's an ism and hamala hunna again it's a mudaf mudaf ilai hamal is a masdar yes so so many isms in a sentence okay possessor of the hamal their term and an near the ana I don't know what is wada. It it is to place or uh, to I don't know. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Wada. 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 I to yeah to place to put. To place. Uh, placing. In 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 this meaning, I think to. I don't know, like to. Rem. I don't want to say remove. It's not a good word. Uh, oh Ba'ana. okay yeah. they they discarded like yes. oh, that day of judgment wala that they'll just. Um, Yeah. I don't I don't remember that sura mm-hmm. but when there is a description of day of judgment that everyone yeah. will be so panic and even a carrier of a hamal they will discard their uh, hamal yes that's, something like that yeah so that's the but idea but i cannot make out the arab of it okay it's masdar muawwal but what role it is playing in the sentence so what kind of we word is done... ajal 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 let's mm, It's an ism. It's an ism, right? I think it's a master. I should do is a. And I'm just thinking maybe a master can also act as a fail. Yes. But let me confirm that. Let me let's go to this I and confirm the Arab of it. So I'm just gonna type. Uh, Ajadu huna. Where is it? and yeah that and handle her I think it's this one so let's actually see so I'm gonna skip the first bit I'm gonna go to where is it yeah but will I tell I'm not a gentleman so I'll wow out if I will let you know today we're gonna skip that we're gonna go to where is all that وأولات الأحمال مبتدأ like we had said أو أنه منسوق على ما تقدم we're going to skip that part they're basically saying it's related to what came before we're just going to go with it's مبتدأ okay أجلهن well in that case the أجلهن will be the مبتدأ where we're saying this أولات أحمال is the مبتدأ وأن وما في حيذها you see what came في تأويل المصدر خبر أجلهن so this Uh, is going to be oh, the khabar. Huh? I missed that. There was a vowel in between. That's why I missed it. That's why I make ajalu anna is the khabar. In the ayah, was it a vowel? No, there is no vowel. No? There's no vowel. There's no vowel. No, they're just saying that... Um, two, two things can be muqtada one, muqtada two, like that. They're telling yeah, maybe muqtada one and muqtada two. Yeah. In that case. So this will be muqtada one. Yeah. مبتدا تو and then أن يضعنا خملهن would be the خبر yeah yeah that was a tough one I didn't even expect that I was just copying these things from the Quran and just pasting I didn't even do it myself <laughs> like <laughs> need to find the master I was <laughs> so you can see how that makes things easier to actually understand uh, hmm alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah, you make it so easy. Your explanation, the way you explain it, becomes very easy. Such difficult topics. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. All right. Uh, 
Let's look at the second one. In the Ladina Kafu, Sawa Una Alehim, a under Tahum, Amlam Tundirhum, La you mean. So you, you, when you hear certain words, of course, you have the spidey senses just going flaring. You see Sawa Un, you're like, oh, oh, I know Sawa Un. I've had Sawa Un before. And then you see, ah, and Tahum. I'm like, ah, I know what this is. I know this culprit. I know because it comes with Sawa Un. And then, of course, it comes with um, and I'm like, yeah, done. I know it. I know already. I know what it is. So, sawa'un a'andartahum amlam tundirhum. And, of course, in that case, a'andartahum is what we are looking at here. We're saying that this will be now our master mu'awwal. Yeah. So, basically, today's exercise was just to be able to enable us to identify the master mu'awwals in, in the different parts of the Quran. And then maybe... Once we finish everything, we can look at now the Arab of everything. I hope that's clear. So maybe I can actually just color code this. I can highlight them. Where every every time we come across a master mu'awwal. So you guys can point out to me the master mu'awwals in this Quran examples. And then you can just highlight them. Because we are running out of time as well. And then maybe the Arab, you can try and do it on your own. يحسب أن ما له أخلده. Where do you see the master مؤول؟ أن ما له. Yeah. See how you're identifying these things very very easily. So أن we know it's a حرف of نسب ما له. It made ما له منسوب. So that becomes our master مؤول. يحسب ما أن ما له أخلده. Okay, and then we have. يود أحدهم لو يعمر ألف سنة يود أحدهم Yes So you see يود in the beginning You know exactly what's happening here Like the لو Because it came with يود This لو is no شرطية This لو is مصدرية لو يعمر He would love That he would be commanded to just live uh, For a thousand years Like he would just love to live a thousand years That's والله يعلم ما تصنعون ما تصنعون يا والله يعلم صنعتكم صنعتكم same thing ما تصنعون what you do or you're doing your actions or, or what you make basically لمن شاء منكم أن يستقيم لمن شاء منكم أن يستقيم <laughs> ah, see how you guys are getting it. And yes, the theme, because you have an, and it made the mudara light, of course, and together they form a master mu'awwal. Allah, okay, sorry, this one, of course, I copied it. There's something before it, so that's why it's making it majroor. Is this okay? Uh, I think, did I copy this right? Anyway, uh, we're going to overlook this. I don't know if I copied it right. But let's start from Adab and Shadidun Bimanasu Yom Al Hisab. Manasu. Manasu. Yep. Manasu. So you have a ma followed by a fa'il. Of course, remember, ma could be any number of things. They are different. There are about eight different kinds of ma. So whenever you see a ma in the Quran, the first question you need to ask yourself is what kind of a ma is it? I'm just showing you the possibilities of a ma mastariya. That's what we are dealing with today. When we come to the different kinds of ma, we will see the endless usages of ma. It's really a, an, an impressive topic. Kay uh, nusabbihaka kathiran. Yeah, we've already done this example. So you know that that forms a master mu'awal and together they act like an ism, one ism. ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى؟ أن الله. Yes. So I know we learned in uh, in بينا that حرف نسب أن كأن بأن we learned بأن as one word. But actually grammarians say you know بأن is حرف جر ب and أن together. So that's why this part that you would see in the tafsir books that they would say أن uh, plus whatever comes after it is going to be a master mu'awwal. So that's just for your own benefit. 
وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا ما دمت حيا yeah. Whenever you see madama and any version of madama that's going to be ma ma mama stariya there's no any other uh, kind of ma that happens in madama madama mama stariya okay sawa'un alaykum ad'awtumuhum am antum samitun ad'awtumuhum yes ad'awtumuhum there you go master mu'awwal so of course you see sawa'un you see a you see am you know that this structure right here is a master mu'awwal. And then we have يَوَدُّ الْمُجْرِمُ لَوْ يَفْتَدِي مِنْ عَذَابِ يَوْمَئِذٍ بِبَنِيهِ لَوْ يَفْتَدِي لَوْ يَفْتَدِي See how you're picking these things up? Like you just know there's no shaft here. What is Lao doing? No, Lao is a master. It is masdariya basically. قُلْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ أَنَّهُ اسْتَمَعَ نَفَرٌ مِنَ الْجِنِّ Anna mm, Anna so Anna and whatever comes after it is going to be uh, a master mu'awwal, basically. Actually, istama'a nafaru min al-jinni. All this thing, the whole thing is going to be a master mu'awwal. Why? Because Anna, who is a mubtada, istama'a nafaru min al-jinni is a khabar. Of course, istama'a is fi'al madi. Nafarun uh, is the fa'il of this fi'al. من الجن متعلق بالفعل. So the whole thing is a master mu'awwal. It's an entire sentence. But it's acting as an SM. So that's how you figure that. I'rab of it. فَرَدَّدْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ أُمِّهِ كَيْ تَقَرَّ عَيْنُهَا كَيْ تَقَرَّ كَيْ تَقَرَّ عَيْنُهَا The whole thing. Yeah. So the whole thing. Actually, even here, we're going to do the whole thing as a master mu'awwal. This whole thing is also going to be the Muslim Awwal. Uh, what else did I miss? Um, كي نسبحك كثيرا Because it's the Naibu Mafa'ul Mutlaq. بما نسوا ماذا نسوا يوم الحساب That whole thing is going to be a Muslim Awwal. لو يعمر ماذا ألف سنة is going to be our Muslim Awwal. Ah, what else? Malahu, Akhladahu. Ayyadana Maza, Hamlahunna. Because it answers the question, what? To Yadah. So that's going to be connected, same chain. So as long as it's part of the same bucket, it's going to be a Master Mu'awwal. That's the whole gist of Master Mu'awwal, guys. As long as you understand that concept. Further concepts of the Arab, we will tackle slowly. But I just wanted to present that to you. So that you understand, okay, there are six kinds of harfs that will give you a master mu'awwal. And let me just go back to the initial page. So we have an, an, it's going to come plus fi'al. So an plus fi'al, anna plus ism, ma plus fi'al, kay plus fi'al, law plus fi'al, hamza plus fi'al. So the only one that comes with an ism is anna because it's harf of nasab. But the rest, they come with fi'al. It could be either madi or mudara. If it is an, ma, and law. These ones can come with madi as well. So that's basically the summary of Master Mu'awwal. I hope you enjoyed that exercise and you have some idea. Hopefully the tafsir books won't scare you. So yeah, pick an ayah. Go to tafsir.com, the tafsir app, furkan.com. Pick an ayah and just go to al-i'rab al-muyassar, the easy i'rab. See what it tells you. See if you can actually figure out what is it saying here. Can I be able to read? But then that's how I improved my Arabic. I started reading this stuff series long time ago. But especially this part. Like Al-Arab Muyassar. I started reading this close to two, two and a half, three years ago. When we started actually with Ustad, I would go to an ayah and I would just start reading. I didn't understand anything, but I kept doing it. I kept doing it and it started becoming clearer and clearer. So I would advise you, even though you don't understand, even though you cannot read with harakat, just go. Make blunders. Try what you can be able to do it. And inshallah, it will become easier. You can be able to figure that out. So at least now you know one more word in reading tafsir. Masdar mu'awwal. Or fi hayyiziha. Yeah. Or 
I don't know what other words they have used, but I've shown you something. So that should be easy enough. Any questions or clarifications before we end? Or comments? You will be sending this in the group, right? This yes. PDF? Yes, I can send mm -hmm. this. No problem. Yeah, and then you just can like go through it. Sure. Um, I think there's nothing else. If you guys have follow-up questions later on, you can post them in the group and we can see what to do. I'm going to end there. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum guys. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakillahu khairan kathirun. Ayyakum jazakum Allah